This is Ryan Payne, filling in for Bob for this week's market update. Despite high levels of uncertainty and pessimism, markets have continued to confound the majority and march higher. This past week, the S&P 500 rose 1.7%. The major U.S. benchmark is now up almost 10% for the year, despite a mini banking crisis, historically high inflation, a Federal Reserve that has raised interest rates by five percentage points over the course of the past 14 months, and a Congress locked in an arm wrestling match over the fate of the debt ceiling. As the old Wall Street adage goes, stocks climb a wall of worry, and that couldn't be any truer than right now in the present. Given markets tend to trade based on where we are going, not where we are, higher stock prices this year suggests the near term isn't as bad as those Wall Street economists have been telling us. Maybe the market truly is acting like the most annoyingly optimistic person we know right now, but frankly, the data has been nothing short of, well, pretty good. U.S. retail sales in April were up. Inflation continues to fall as employment sits at a historical high. Meanwhile, companies in mass grew out their revenues again during the first quarter of this year, despite high inflation and higher interest rates. So instead of recessionary, resilience is the word that comes to mind when starting to think about labeling what the current market conditions and economic environment is. Despite a strong bounce in stocks this year, investors remain pessimistic and in disbelief that the world could actually be better than has been anticipated. The positioning in U.S. stocks and funds of all types is two standard deviations below the historical norm. The University of Michigan sentiment survey remains well below its long-term average after hitting the lowest level in at least 40 years last June. That's a lot of pessimism. So if the conditions continue to improve, and we think they will, risk of a stock market melt-up is very real as pessimistic investors finally catch FOMO and have to rush their money back into stocks at the same time. Remember, markets don't settle down, as my father Bob likes to say, they settle up. So instead of sitting on your hands, paralysis by analysis, waiting for an all clear signal to make decisions about your portfolio in retirement, the time to take action is now. If you've saved over a million dollars for your retirement and you need to make some decisions about what you're doing, now's the time to do it. If you call or text at 844 752 6692, my father Bob and I have a collective 75 years helping individuals just like you. Simply call or text at 844 844- 752-6692. That's 844-PLAN-NYC, 844-PLAN-NYC.